Okay, into the city. What the? What are people doing here? I guess these are the researchers. Well, here we are. The Flying Fortress. Or as close to it as we're going to get anyway. It's a strange feeling. Who would have thought this is where our quest would ultimately bring us? When I was a boy, Ellen would tell me about the majesty of the Flying Fortress. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes, though. My Gaia, just look at it. How in Legionwood could a place like this even exist? The precursors were capable of feats we can only imagine today. This fortress stands as a testament to Gaia's divine guidance. Never mind Gaia, for anybody to be able to build such a marvel, it would require genius far beyond our greatest minds. It's no wonder Talia guards its secrets so carefully. Salvage precursor tech usually fetches a high price in the market, but this, whoever finds out everything this place has in store for them would be set for life. Valuable or not, it looks like that's our job. It's our only hope of making the Sword of Lore whole again, after all. To plumb the unexplored tunnels of the Flying Fortress, Elwyn would be jealous of me. We really have come a long way. Together, we've traveled every corner of Alexis Island. From Colony Town to Port Alexis, we've seen the best and the worst humanity has to offer. We've done everything we could in Legionwood to destroy the darkness. And now, it's time to journey into the stars and beyond. I guess Vera was right when she told me stealing that shard would lead to riches beyond my wildest dreams. In a sense, it was the truth. What glory could be, great, be greater than ending the Age of Darkness once and for all, even if we don't get to live to see it? You know what? I think I'm fine with that. It's quite been quite the ride. If this is how I go out, well, my life will have been worth something. Hey, so let's not resign ourselves to fate yet. If anybody can make go all the way back to another world and make it in one piece, we can. By coming this far, we've accomplished what nobody else could. Glacius, Elwyn, Fira, Miris. Against all odds, we've done what they never did. You're right, we might actually have a chance of winning this thing. For the first time since our journey began, we can hope. We will have a future to come back to. Right, Luca? Confident. We'll be the darkness and then we'll bask in our well-earned fame and fortune. You can count on it. A nice long rest, lots of food and relaxation. I'm looking forward to it. As long as we trust in Gaia, we will succeed. Now onward to the Flying Fortress. Greatness awaits. Okay, any unfinished business will disappear forever. Yeah, there is one quest. The Legendary Arms. What the heck is that? I thought the Ancient Sigil has to be used in the f Flying Fortress. Fortune Rune. Whoa, the darkness is standing right there. Harp Leaf. Most of the Flying Fortress is still infested with monsters. You aren't smart enough to use the teleporters though, so we're safe as long as we stay down here. It's for that reason that nobody's made a serious attempt at clearing them out. We are, we just don't have the manpower to justify such a dangerous task. This guard post was built to watch over the Flying Fortress and make sure the research teams can work in safety. Of course there's less and less research these days, with all the problems back home in Carrot, so it's mostly just downtime for us. Pure Root. But what's the, what about this building? It has to be used for something, right? Yes. An inn, perhaps? They're setting in an outpost of Lady Talia's militia, so behave yourselves. We may be off duty, but we're still duty bound to enforce the laws of Carrot. Outsiders aren't allowed to enter the Flying Fortress, but are free to gaze upon its glory from down here. We do pretty good business here, providing rooms as a place to pilgrims. I don't see my party members inside the room, though. Maybe I have to actually spend the night here first. The heck is that? Is this an option to steal from them? Okay, with that I should get Gaius up a bit. Welcome! Supplies, just basic... Oh, we even get Hanalar, nice. Okay, so save. I'm just gonna go to the room just to see if I can get any of my party members to sh Nope, they do not. Oh well, a shame. What's in these chests? I'm Stamina rune. You know what? 
these are runes. Let's take it. I don't care if Gaius gets mad. He already has like f over 30 influence anyways. Those runes will be better used in my hands when fighting the darkness. Hmm. Alright, final stretch of the game, huh? I'm sorry, the Flying Fortress is off limits to outsiders. I'll have to ask you to leave. Not so fast, we got permission to be here. Researcher's seal. Oh, you must be Luca's party. Lady Talia sent word ahead of you. Please accept my apologies. You're clear to go through. Be careful in there. Oh boy. A single teleporter. That'll take us all the way to this area. What? It, the teleporter lost power. What a horrible coincidence. I guess there's no turning back now. I'm pretty sure I've done every quest I could. I talked to everyone so many times just to be paranoid. Um, why do we stop in here at this fork? So here we are in the tunnels within the Flying Fortress. That drive core object Kim mentioned should be somewhere nearby. Two paths to take, and from what we've heard, the quicker we move, the better. Maybe we should split up. What? If you're gonna split up, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna reload and buy another calming harp. Hate to say it, but I agree. We never did tell Talia we plan to fly off in this place, you know? She could have a change of heart at any moment. It looks like we don't have any other choice, so how are we gonna do this? Luca and I will take one path. Who wants to take the other? I trust Luca. We're in this together. I'm with Luca. Wherever Luca goes, I go. Well, it looks like it's all. Let's hurry and try to drive core. Thousands of souls are counting on us. The rest of you will go this way. Looking at I will go the other. Stay alert. These tunnels are filled with things beyond our comprehension. May Gaia watch over us. Wait. Uh, what the hell is that conversation? Everyone said, you know what? Screw it. Let's all stick together. Weird. That is really weird, you guys. And also kind of heartwarming that everyone's like, you know, uh, you know what, I, let's not split the party. I trust Luca above all else. It looks like someone can be inserted. It's roughly the same shape as the ancient sigil. Ha ha! I, never, I didn't think we'd resolve this one so quickly. Insert the ancient sigil. Whoa! A secret stair. Bunch of items here, but who knows if it'll lead to a boss battle. Five arms for five souls. Heroes of Legion would touch torchbearers of Dynast King's legacy. What? So these are weapons. Mulgineer? Uh, this bear have a freaking magic booster. I'm not going to use it. Just saying. Yeah, not cool. Come on! Why are they all weapon? Why are they all for the warrior? I mean, they're they're strong, but okay, this I can get behind. I actually have a use for this. They should really give you weapons that are that fit most of your party, not just a warrior. A warrior get it's way too many things. Yeah, machine pistol. Say goodbye to that and go with sandalwood gun. Extra attack in battle, huh? Yes. That assumes that. Okay, divine one. This. Oh, who do I? I I, I have two. I have three mages. Excalibur. Oh, I almost I almost, cra I almost thought it would crash. Excalibur. Oh, I was hoping it would have some kind of magic attack to it. Seriously, we don't have enough magic items. What the heck, game? Anyways, who gets this one? Maybe Gaia should have the Divine Wand. Since he's kind of lacking in magic power compared to the other two anyways. The other two are way too OP in magic. It's actually not that much stronger than a Golden uh, Scepter, is it? Huh. But it has good magic defense, and defense could be good for a healer. There we go. For, oh, dang it. You picked your weapons poorly, stupid sign. I'll kick you. Like, there's not really much... 
Why are there so many warrior type items in there? Come on, that's redundant. Who's gonna have that? Who the hell is gonna have that kind of party set up, right? No one actually. Even with the warrior, every like at best you'd be able to equip like two of the heavy items. Yeah. That's such a bad idea. Seriously, Zwayhander, Muldrenir, and Excalibur? That's way too redundant, man. Come on. Anyways, so we, we're allowed to go both either path now. It's due to me having high affinity with everyone. The others have this path secured. Oh. In other words, we're all going down this way. Cool. Oh no. Spikes. Light the 12 glyphs, open the doors. Each color bound to a number. First one, then another for every three more. Whoa, this is confusing. Light the 12 gly glyphs to open the door. Each bound to a number. First one, then another for every three more. The blood of the Dynast Kings lights the way forward. Does that mean my... If it lights the way forward, can, can I use my Onx? Maybe they have some of the Dynast Kings blood on it. Oh, yeah. Don't understand. Oh, yeah. This is confusing. Healing Crystal. There might be a boss unexpectedly soon. These puzzles are going to get more confusing, aren't they? The true final stretch of the game, and I'm already lost. Hundreds of names have covered a surface of the stone. Some of them appear to be pals that can be pressed in. Oh shoot, I didn't pay attention to everyone's names, no! I don't know what to do here. First one, then another for every three more. What? This is such a weird, weird. Uh. Oh man. I could continue downwards, but I don't even know what that would give me. Another glyph? What the heck? I'm confused. The architect Ho Hoser. He constructed the fortress in 1443. I need to take notes. This is confusing. Okay, press panels. What about I put in Hoser? I don't know. So it's a specific combination. A trapdoor? That killed me! Wow, that was a dick move, game. Good thing I saved. Wow. So, Hoser might be the first one, but I can't be sure. What's this thing here? Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna have to examine every one of those tablets that, that I can. Oh, this is one of the toughest puzzles yet. This might be Nocturne Rebirth tier or worse. I gotta write shit down too. I wish I could, there was an early way to disable traps, but they're making it further and further away because they know people have s subterfuge. Save before opening any chests. It could always be a mimic. Hmm. Wow! 
Game Wow. Portion Rune. Defender a chorus. 1388. It's a weird puzzle. Good thing I have plenty of food. But g go, give him how tough this puzzle is, I may just run out. <laughs> hey, is that the mechanism? Oh, uh, it's just a passage. Blah. I was hoping. Okay, the third one. Narmer the Founder. That seems to be it. Normer to found. Okay. He's the oldest one so far. Does that mean anything? Is that, will that determine the order I have to press them in? There should be one more out there. The other path now. Oh, I see there is one more tablet. Oh wow, that's a lot of spikes. I don't know what's the point of the bottom spikes, though. No one's gonna go that way, right? The Uniter Inpotep, 1332. Hmm. Became the stuff of legend. Okay. Now I should probably make my way back to that pre uh, the fr that uh, panel where I can push stu uh, uh, names in. Okay, let's try it. Normer. Imhotep. Chorus. Hoser. Magical energy surges through the dungeon. That a glyph? Hmm, I, I assume this is progress of some sort. Oh boy. That was a lot just to get the first glyph, man. But we can't use that puzzle anymore. We have to. We have no choice but to continue going through some of these. And not all doors are unlocked. We just have to keep exploring and hope there's a switch to turn off all those damn spikes. Hmm. Where to start? Hey, I see a shiny there. But which. So, well, does it, do I have to open the glyphs in a specific order? Peptide. Hmm. This game is really weird sometimes. Ah, another one that was unlocked. Or not. No, it's not. I can't deactivate them, so I assume I just have to continue finding a way forward. I don't know how I can even reset them. Something strange, could it be the fabled switch? 
Yes! Now I can take my sweet time with the exploration. I don't even know if I'm going in the right order. Man, this game is confusing. What kind of weird ass security system is this? Myth floor. A block pushing puzzle? Yep, it is. I see, I have to push it all the way up there. On this exact spot. But what's with this square here? It's so weird. No one could actually push it into that one. I'm so glad I disabled encounter. Oh shoot, I just realized. No, shoot, I gotta reset this one. That doesn't actually reset the block? Does, did, did it glitch on me? I don't know. So this block, what do I do with it? I can't push it onto there. But I have a feeling I can... I can't get it onto the other square either, unless I... Hmm... Unless I take care of that gate there. I should probably look downstairs and see if there's any solution. Oh wait, there's some chests I did not account for. Hmm, that takes care of another one. I don't know if it got the ones I needed. Yeah, it opens up multiple doors at a time. But I don't know which one is the one they want me to take. I am confused. I, mean, I can open them all, but what will that accomplish for me? Just shards stones, but oh. shattered again. Let's see. What caused some some of these to deactivate? Hmm. There. With that, I might be able. Let's see if I actually have a clear path for the stone. Oh no. Getting it up here is gonna be tough. What the heck am I supposed to do? Oh wait, I could push it up here and then push it all the way up here. And I don't know how to do that. Okay. I need to follow, trace a path that will give allow me to win. Let's see, if I push it here, it could work, and then if I push it all the way up here... And I'm stuck. Damn. Spy was onto something. Protect Pendant. Something has shattered. I'm having a hard time keeping track of all these doors. Oh shoot, did some of them close on me? Hmm. Yeah, tough puzzle for sure. I don't even know what to do with this block here. Door always there? What am I missing? 
Maybe I should go downstairs and try to look for more solutions. Seriously, how do I get to here? It's impossible. I still don't know how this thing works. You know what, let's go downstairs. I bet if I could get those green things open, that would help. The green doors. Just need to double check this area to see if there's any additional things I missed. Mm, there's the next glyph I have to press, probably. Oh, there's more glyphs. Wow. Logic of this place baffles me. But at least I'm getting good treasure, and hopefully they'll reset the puzzle instead of killing me outright. Sacred Mirror. Yeah, they're giving me all the rare stuff. Stuff that I would normally get for hard side quests. Am I supposed to press every glyph? Hmm. Wish these clues weren't so vague. This should be the last one. With this, I should be able to solve the puzzle, right? Yeah, let's go take a look upstairs. Maybe- or it could make everything worse and like, block off everything, trapping me inside. I need to trace the path of the rock. Hmm. Okay, I traced out a plausible path. Let's test if my I ch chose correctly. Really, those clues are really bugging me. Feels like I had to uh, activate the glyphs in a, in a very exact order, but I went around and activated them randomly. And they still took out down the doors. Let's see, up here. Okay, I want to bring it up that path, since though I have to bring it through rooms that allow me to actually push it from other sides. Okay, then here that way. Yes, I see what I need to do. And I have to push it up from below. There we go. Okay, from here. Yes, yes, it's all coming together. Down some. Now work my way around to the this room over here. Hmm. I hope I got the, made the right choice. Ooh. Made it. So this was actually a stair all along. And the, all the spikes are deactivated, I hope. Why is this hallway so long? I'm scared. Uh, where'd Jessica go? Luca, you made it! I was starting to worry. It wasn't an easy journey. How are things on your end? The tunnels are riddled with traps. It's a good thing both paths ultimately led to the same place. 
The drive core must be somewhere nearby. We may as well join up together again. You guys were all together in the first place. Guy has plans for all five of us, it seems. Let's move on. Our destiny awaits. That was weird. No need to go back through there. Anyways, I didn't even check out the normal enemies in this place yet, so... Let's try it out on easy mode just to see what they look like in terms of art style and all that. Maybe see if they have any good drops. Wait a minute. Where's... I don't see the ramen counter gauge on me. No. Yeah, oh, there we go. There. I saw... Uh, this is actually pretty useful. It tells me which rooms actually have encounters. Uh... Guys, collision? The hell? I recognize you! Oh shoot, they got the advantage on me despite... Me uh, being on easy mode somehow. Whoa! This is easy mode, by the way. Holy crap. Where are you weak to again? Well, I guess that answers that. Jessica, attack. Minor quake. Nine thousand. It's exactly nine thousand. Hmm. Don't tell me every enemy is going to ambush us if we fight them. What the? A court mage? Hmm. Light seems to be a good choice here. Nothing to steal. Cheap. Astrid can now attack twice, huh? Flame Bolt. Hmm, I wonder if there's any interesting singular mini-boss enemy. Okay, max my level and distributed some of my stat runes, so... Looks like we're go we got a boss battle. When, Legion would? Unauthorized personnel detected. Now initiating security protocols. Intruders, you're trespassing in the engine row of the SSS RSS Discovery. In accordance with the wartime naval law, you are to be neutralized. At least there's only one of you, right? You're not gonna summon any mooks, are you? Here it comes! Boss battle! Oh, sn that's- I don't- why don't I have that move? Ouch! Ooh! E! Ugh! That's not good. Spirit Fetish, please don't spam it. Cyber Demon? The heck? Hanalore, we might need it. Healing Haze, I hope that all the magic I pumped to you will make it worth it. Ooh, nice! That's actually pretty good. That'll allow us to survive more of what he throws at us. Nice! I got her attack is really high too, so that sure helps. Feebling can trip. We can. You're now oh, uh. Okay, so Ishtar maybe Yes! Ooh, that does a lot. Another handle war. Another meteor strike. Oh shoot, Vane, please survive. Yeah. Oof. Ugh. Healing Haze. Okay, so...
Hmm. Let's see. I want to study you in case you are weak to anything else. Silence and blind. We better use disease breath if possible. Shock bolt. Summon Ishtar. Please silence. Ugh, only blind. Try spell. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It's only a single target one. Okay. Attack. Whoa! That's a big crit. That's another big crit. And an extra set of machine armor in case they need it. Another per precursor robot. Good riddance to that. This strange device must be the drive core. I'd be willing to stake my reputation on it. You have a reputation? This, th this is the thing that keeps this place afloat. It's pretty groovy. I'll give it that much, but how are we supposed to use it? If we try to take it, it'd probably cause the whole place to crash down. Given enough time, any machine can come to be understood. In this case, though, it won't be necessary if Hakim speaks the truth. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? Go ahead, Luca. Place the shards next to it. Place the lower shards at the base of the device. It's working! The drive core is responding to the shards. It's making an awful racket. Are we sure this is safe? Radioactivity. It seems to be drawing energy from the lore shards, just as Hakim said. This drive core has been dormant for so many years, but if this sound is any indication, it will be more than enough to get us to where we need to go. And back to Legion Wood too, if we make it through this thing alive. If Guy wills it, Astrid, from here on out, our lives are in his hands. I didn't see any uh, more uh, lore p items, so they might be. They're supposedly in the ship. So hopefully we can get to that safely. When Legion was that? The whole room rumbled. The fortress is ascending. Our journey to the stars has begun. I hope we can brief. To go where nobody before us has gone. To see wh what no human in living memory has seen. This is the legacy Elwyn entrusted to us. I like how things are escalating, unlike in Legion Wood 2, which actually felt like f things didn't really get quite as epic as in Legion Wood 1. Now we're actually going to space. And we'll probably fight something s uh, worthy of our stats, too. Whee! Hyperspace. This will probably be a new world map, and this will turn out to be only like halfway through the game and I'm already at the level cap, right? Uh... Well, here we are! The surface of Shadowmoor, a world never touched by Gaia's divine spark. It just looks like a boring old rock to me. We're sure this is the place, right? The signal is somewhere close by. Whatever's calling to the Lord Shards, I can feel its influence. You can feel it like magical energy, but as far as we know, there is no weave here. It's not the same as the weave. It feels like something even more powerful, something unknowable, but it's familiar somehow. Now that you mention it, I can feel something, too. It's by Gaia. It feels wrong. A chill just went down my spine. For some reason, there's a large concentration of the darkness here, greater than we've ever experienced. If this is the ultimate fate of our world... We don't have long before we succumb to the taint. Wherever awaits us here, we'd better find it, and quickly. Right, let's get going. We don't have time to stand around talking. Is there a time limit? Oh, shoot. Saving a separate slot. Colony Ship is the name of this place now. A metal signpost. Welcome to Colony Alpha. A light shines. Future. Oh, shoot. The colonists, they were killed by the darkness, too. Just when they thought they escaped cast off. Wherever it is, it's been deserted for centuries. There's supposed to be eight lo logs I'm supposed to read here. Hmm. Very 
Visitors, welcome to the Colony Alpha. Visitors, please register for reception. You're late for duty assignment by a click. 3,147 years, 7 months, 12 days. Is that how long this place has been deserted? 3,147 years? Beep, unknown element detected in the facility. Please report to security for further instructions. Art more arcane tomes. They're really making sure you have enough to, to, to do anything, huh? Problem is, we don't have any more text we can really learn at this point. I have eight spare AP, but everything we've already covered will spread out among the party members, but still. There's just nothing we can do. Maybe if they were to teach us some additional t uh, super text for our classes, that would be good. But we don't have that option. We've done everything we could with our skills. Matter replicator? This must be the sh the log. Oh no, it's just a... Oh, we can buy stat increasers here. Nice. But they're kind of expensive too. We can sell stuff. Hmm. But I'm sc scared to let go of some of my current items. Well, who knows if I'll need it, right? Candle Lord does not sell for anything. Uh, I don't want to get rid of everything. <laughs> Sheen Pistol, Ancient Spear. Oh, we it's going to be t tough farming money in this place, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, the price went down. Probably because the proper uh, passive kicked in. Yeah. I have max peptides. Nice. Speed rune. Let's just distribute it real quick. It's equal to two levels. So yeah. This will be our way of means of level grinding from now on. More speed so we can uh, keep up with the enemy. Stack grinding is the only way forward. It's dark. Scouting ability, huh? Oh, I see the logs. Hmm. Alright, so there's supposed to be eight captain's logs and... Hmm. Transport Nexus? No, that's not a captain log. Oh, well. Engineering? Could this one be it? Why am I able to step on these wells? Critical error. Teleporter network offline. Please reestablish connection. So I'll have to talk to every shiny and hope I eventually get the log. So those wells must be teleporters, just like last time in episode 2. Defying all logic, this machine appears to be powered on. Several options are blinking on the screen. Captain's log. Oh, there's all eight of them are in this one computer. Wow. That's pretty convenient. Don't have to search all over the place for them. <laughs> Ship designation 44CA Gaia's Hope. Class colonizer, interstellar, faster than light. Command Captain Virgil Asmodeus. Eight logs are archived. Log one, it's just been it's been just over a day since we began the mission. Atmospheric entry was hairy. Cast off nearly blew us out of the sky. Thanks to some smart flying on the part of Ensign Magus, we had managed to get away, but it looks like some non-essential systems sustained damage during the pursuit. Ship designation... okay. There's... Now log two. All sellers and non-essential crew have been placed in the stasis, and all pilot protocols are engaged. Myself and a few of the engineers are still here, but we'll be on ice within the week. Just a couple of maintenance tasks left to do, and then we'll sell in for the journey ahead. On ice? So, cryogenic freezing? Ship doesn't... okay then... Log free. I was just defrosted by the AI, but I'm not quite sure why. Computer's logged only a few weeks since we launched. It's nowhere near a long enough span of time to reach our destination, but we do seem to have landed somewhere. 
I'll bring some crew out of stasis and investigate. Something's definitely ro gone wrong. It looks like we never left the solar system. The AI's put us down in Shadowmoor, but why? Could Kastoff have hacked them somehow? Or maybe he, one of his followers somehow hacked them? We did sustain damage just after launch, but was it enough to knock our faster than light tra uh, drive out of commission? I guess we'll have to make the best of a bad situation. We've managed to establish a basis for our colony, but this planet isn't doing us any favors. Without any atmosphere, growing food's out. Even with all hands on deck, we're still running at suboptimal efficiency. Someone keeps on interfering with our tech. We're picking up odd energy readings from the planet's core. They must have landed on something on a planet that was being c consumed by the darkness. Initial explorations into the planet's core have yielded interesting results. The energy we were detecting is some kind of anomaly. According to the scientists, it's similar to the dark matter encountered in the depths of space, but in far greater concentrations. Whatever it is, it shouldn't be planet side. Should I lost count. I really wish I'd just let you go uh, say uh, go to, right to the next log. That would be more convenient. Gah. Six. So seven. What we fear is coming to pass. Not only is the dark energy disrupted to our tech, it's actively hostile to our bodies. The effect it has on living things is disastrous. Not only does it kill, it changes things. At this point, we're looking at a matter of weeks unless we can find some way to stop it. This will be my final log. Those of us who are still alive are going to return to stasis. Hope we can wait this thing out. I've set up a beacon in the core using the dark energy as a power source. Maybe if the people back home survived, maybe they'll notice it and rescue us. If you want to access the core, I've linked the teleporters to the beacon. Trigger protocol number 77 to bring them back, but you need to activate the backup generators first. Huh. I think that's all the logs. I'm just gonna go through them again just to be safe. Uh. I really wish there was a way to record all the lore you found through the, throughout the game in your menu. That would make it so much easier to keep track of it. All doors unlocked. Insufficient power. Okay, so that takes care of the doors. Well, not these yellow doors. Something's blocking that one still. Weird. Just gonna have to comb this place, look for every switch. Security. Something strange about this wall. More runes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need every one of these I can find. What's this? A backup power generator. Turn it on. But I probably need to find even more generators. Oh yeah, it tells you- I guess this green bar shows you how many generators are good. Hydroponics and life support. Cure root, blood lotus, toxic weed. Huh, strangely they grow the exact- they manage to grow the exact same plants too. Warning, life system, uh, support systems offline due to unspecified error. Please reboot immediately. Oh, that means that... That means that the guys oh, who went to stasis are probably dead. Okay, now to look for more doors. Runes. 
Research. Hmm. That gets me that yellow door that was all the way down there. Hmm, but I still need two more generators. Uh, okay, this way... Generator active. Is that enough? That should be all of them. All four. The auto logs. I hope that's the lot. Uh, that, I hope I complete my lore count, but it's no telling. Teleportation Nexus now online. Sweet. But I should tr maybe try to give some of the random enemies here a shot. Just to see how profitable they are. If they if they could give decent money, that would be great. But I don't even think there's a way to increase our money drops in this game. Money is the only way to really get stronger at this point. Wait, we can still- we, there's still a sense of time in this place? Weird. Hey, you're a recolor of that machine I fought before. Are you a rare enemy or not? I can't really tell. Nothing to steal. Oh, multi-hitter. Okay. Debilitating. Shock bolt. Ishtar. Okay, strike, try to weaken its defense or not. Shoot. Okay, given its constitution, use a thousand pricks. It's still it survived somehow. Wow. Nine thousand. Oh, any other encounters here? Yellow, red. We're gonna get one soon. Oh yeah, there we go. Good old-fashioned four, uh, four versus fives. Android. Bullet time. Eh, I managed to get two of them. Now, summon Ishtar. Wait, are those plants weak to fire? Oh, that's some good experience. Oh, the money here isn't too bad either. We could use this to far- uh, well, on easy mode at least. We could use this to farm more of those sat boosters, if we need to. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Heroes of Legion Wood, End of Days, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.